Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of January, as usual, I have a special sales offer available and if you would like to know more details about it, just uh, read in the description box or email me with your questions and if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do that by following the PayPal link which is also down below so Sagittarius it feels like there's a lot of mutual assistance being um, uh, a main theme here for the month of January is like you helping out others and others helping you out there's a lot of um, give and take here in terms of favors or resources uh, exchanges of um, energies that keep the month moving for you um, in a in a more steady way there, there has been a lack of stability here into something specific that during the month of January there's an opportunity to get back at it to get back in the right track or in the track that makes you feel more secure some of you are after uh, a level of security that you have lost um, in the recent months. There's something uh, that could be more financial or just in terms of feeling like you have been losing people, have feeling like you have been losing support, perhaps. If it's not, you know, um, in terms of losing people, in terms of people walking, you know, out of your life or, or you know, relationships ending it's like a feeling of feeling like you're not having support right like losing support maybe you had here issues in being on the same page or in agreement um with others in the recent months and this left you feeling like uh alone or or fighting for your for this thing that it's important for you you know by yourself and you want to have more support you want to have you know this network you want to have this um strong um group of support that makes you feel also strong and motivated in what you're doing so whatever it is that you feel you have been losing and because of that loss you feel like things have been unstable for you uh january there's a reform on um you know and um a reform and a rebuilding of you know things that have been falling apart things where there has been a little bit of here of leaks or destructions but it's like you know it's like having this 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 thing built um and then one problem starts to uh, show up in uh, one side of it and then another and then another like small things but all put together um, could really made you feel a little bit you know sad disencouraged I see some sadness some um, you know um, how you say it it's like feeling some disappointment is not really the word that I want it's like feeling this this sorrow uh, feeling sorrow for the things you have again recently witnessed so you could also have seen a lot of things that um, with others around in the world around you that made you feel sad that made you feel you know like disconnected from um, what truly holds meaning and importance for you and what truly you're after in life. There's something here about some of you uh, Sagittarius, you're after something specific um, and your commitment to this thing you want being, you know, an emotional goal, or a financial goal, professional goal, uh, uh, a goal that uh, is about your own personal growth, whatever it is, you have to stay committed no matter what. And I feel like some of you have been hesitant of your own commitments in all senses and you're kind of trying to find back your center trying to find back here your truth so you can hold on to that truth with this 
beautiful ace of wands and you hold on to that truth and you keep pursuing this idea this um you know something i feel like some of you are after something very original something very different unusual so you keep pursuing it and you keep giving your all despite the challenges you face because i feel like some of you have been almost like giving up because of the challenges uh, you found and there's a turnaround energetically speaking where you know you awaken this fire and you awaken this will in you to keep pushing keep pushing it keep doing keep trying keep fighting there's this almost like this fighting energy that has been missing in you right this this fighting spirit this hunter spirit to go after the things that you desire and you want for your life which is something that is very important uh for sagittarius energy at a whole so it's almost like being having your spirit revived having um a little bit of a taste of your own self after a period of time where you have felt weird or you have felt not like yourself some of you sagittarius have not been feeling like yourselves lately or have felt kind of again different Maybe you have been struggling internally with emotions that uh, you're trying to make sense. Like, am I still on board with this or not? Do I still believe in this or not? Do I still want this or not? You know, there's a lot of lack, a lot of doubts, I'm sorry, uh, a lack of clarity of motivations, intentions, and where your true desire lies. Some of you have uh, been confused about this. Where does your true desire lies i also feel like you might have also been dealing here with um someone that has been facing the same issue uh someone that maybe showed you you know this apathy or this 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 weird feeling about them this unstable um energy maybe sometimes really giving to you and then not giving at all and sometimes being very emotional and sometimes being very cold and you know a lot of um erratic um behavior here on someone else's end towards you Sagittarius especially if you have been dealing with um an air sign or water sign but air sign strongly so Libra Gemini Aquarius individuals or um someone that just you know has been confused about if they are on board with you or not so if this is a, a um a business partnership that could be you know um or a creative partnership creative partnership i'm sorry that could have been real you know real um issues preventing this partnership to bloom and to bringing to the table what was supposed maybe someone here failed on you you know bailed on you gave up on something out of the blue it's something you didn't expect it you know it, it let it, someone here left you hanging on something they promised you or they uh were committed to initially maybe this is if this is a love interest the same thing maybe you had here someone that showed you something and then showed you the opposite or acted the opposite of in an opposite way than what was told, right? The King of Swords in a negative sense can be someone very distant and cold at times and detached. And then, uh, But being that you have here the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands, and then you have this opposite force at the same time, someone very passionate and very loving towards you. So I'm feeling a lot of on and off coming from you and coming from people you're dealing with in all senses. That might be something that still kind of affects uh, the vibe of your month. But when you're in your power, which is this, when you're in your power, you know, they can't, it's like they can't take your eyes of you. They can't look anywhere, anywhere else, meaning that there's something about when you are, you know, in your own truth, when you are living your life, regardless of, again, who is looking and who is there and who is doing and who is not doing and you're just doing you, um, you're a magnet for the right kind of attention, the right kind of support um, to be present. And th this might be something you are discovering throughout the month is that you can't 
focus so much on others because you can't control their behavior. You can't predict their behavior. You can't change. You can't force them to change or see the same things you do. So you're going to focus on something that you're really passionate about. There's something that is really turning on some of you Sagittarius. And it's going to be a fun ride. And when you are, you know, about to move into this fun, exciting, adventurous uh, opportunity, someone that was a little bit on the fence probably will come forward. And it, it either will express love or express um, commitment to whatever the plan is um, they had in mind. And I also feel like if you... It could also be for some of you Sagittarius, like if you have been doing this yourself to someone, like if you feel like you couldn't really, you know, get your heart and your mind to be in agreement, it, because this is the, the issue here is like the heart and the mind have not been in agreement. The heart wants something and the mind wants another. And I feel like if you have been, you know, in duality yourself about love or about people, um, I feel like when you see someone, you know, that you have been in, on the fence about really rising, because I feel like some of you have been perhaps even, you know, um, underestimating someone here. So when you see their true potential, I feel like you're going to have a change of uh, opinion here and you're going to have this agreement between heart and mind that allows you to come forward in a different way. So either you have been under underestimating someone or someone has been underestimating you. And either way, the point is that as you move into February, you move into exciting times. You move into a time where you feel amazing and you feel ready and you feel confident and you feel, um, you know, in control of your own faith um, and with this immense creative power to pursue your uh, wishes. So it's not going to be any more about them. It's only going to be about you and about who you want in your life what things you want in your life, what tools you need to fix whatever problems you have or to create um, the solutions you, you are in need of. It's like you're not um, looking out for anything here. You, you're tapping into this endless um, resources you have that have to deal with the element of fire. You have a lot of resources in you. And you're using those resources as you move into February to help yourself out, um, especially in things where you feel like no help was being given. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.